everybody, this is Lizzie Jones and today I'm going to show you three techniques for adding a mosaic appearance to your projects. So we're going to start with the mosaic tile die and some self-adhesive foam. You just want to run this through your die cut machine. It'll cut out those little tiles for you. And you don't want to use a shim makes this part a lot easier. It's going to, you're just going to peel back the adhesive backing. Not using a shim keeps you from cutting all the way through that. You're going to place it on a clear block and you're just going to push down on the tiles themselves and pull up on the surrounding area there, that grout line. I'm going to push down and make sure that the tiles are nice and stuck. The grout line just acts as a nice template to help you get everything placed quickly and easily. And as long as you don't push down too hard, that foam comes up really nicely and easily. At the end, you'll have a custom mosaic stamp. There we go. Now you're going to start with a stamped panel. Here I have the butterflies from Life is Beautiful and I'm just inking up this mosaic pattern with some embossing ink. I'm using Versamark. And you're going to stamp directly on top of your stamped images. Now this is obviously not big enough to cover an entire card front at once, so you're going to stamp a couple of different times. But once you're finished, you're going to sprinkle with clear embossing powder. Make sure everything's nice and covered. And then you're going to heat set. And you're going to do the fun part, the sponging. So you're just going to go over the entire surface with a darker ink. Here I'm using tropical teal and the tiles themselves will resist the ink but the area between that grout line will take the ink nicely and then you're going to go over the whole thing with a slightly damp towel this is a baby wipe that had been out for a while just res uh, sort of remove some of that extra residue makes the tiles pop a little bit so here we have that panel trimmed a little to uh, highlight the butterflies and I'm just going to add a decorative edge using the small scallop border die. I die cut a piece of aqua mist polka dot pattern paper. Got a little extra on either side so I can make sure that I have it exactly centered and then I can just trim off the excess. Super easy. Now I'm stamping my sentiment. This is from Modern Wood Mats. Onto an aqua mist circle. Adding a little bit of foam tape to the back of my mosaic panel. On big panels like this, I don't like to skimp. And we're going to mount that to a limeade ice card base. Once it's secure, we're going to add our sentiment also with some foam tape right along the edge there. There we go. And it felt like it needed a little something, so I went back and added a few sequins, just some white sequins. When you've got a background that's as busy as this one, you don't want to add a whole lot, but a little something to draw attention to the sentiment is not a bad idea. And there we go. 
There's technique number one. Let's move on to technique number two. So this time, we're actually die cutting the stamped panel itself. So we're going to ink up the flowers from Cutting Garden here. I've got Harvest Gold and Summer Sunrise inks. These mosaics tend to work really well with big bold images. So the flowers from Cutting Garden are perfect for that. Now here I want to add some leaves but it's all going to be one layer so I'm just going to do some pretty basic masking. Nothing too fancy. I'm just going to trim around the, the post-it note where I want there to be space. There we go. And on that edge there. It's going to take off that corner. Now I'm going to add leaves from the same cutting garden set in Simply Chartreuse ink. And do a couple of impressions there. That second generation adds a little extra dimension. Then we've got the larger leaf here. We're going to add that along that bottom edge. There we go. Now, I'm going to stamp the smaller flower. I'm not going to worry about masking it because I kind of like the overlap look that you get when you have the two flowers one on top of the other there. I'm using Summer Sunrise and Berry Sorbet inks. And I'm just going to place that up front there. And I want a little more greenery, so I'm going to go back with those post-it notes again. And just cover up the flowers and go back in with the small leaf right about there. There we go. Now you're going to run that through a Xyron machine to make the back sticky. If you don't have a Xyron you can always use uh, strips of score tape or something similar. We're going to Secure the die in place with some blue painter's tape. Run that through the die cut machine. And you'll see it's cut out all the tiles. But again, we didn't use a shim, so that backing piece should largely be in one, one solid piece. And much like the the foam block that we did earlier, we're just going to mount this to an extra piece of cardstock, to another piece of cardstock. This is a piece of Simply Chartreuse, and you just want to touch the tiles here. You don't really want to touch the grout line very much at all. The less you touch the grout, the better. You're going to push down on each of the tiles individually. It really goes pretty quickly. Make sure they're nice and firmly stuck down and then you're going to start in a corner and pull up that in-between area. Checking on your tiles as you go just to make sure they're nice and stuck down. And there's your mosaic floral.
wanted to add a little bit of something, so I have some rustic jute button twine here. I'm just going to wrap it around a couple of times and tie a little bow. All these straight lines, it's nice to break them up a little bit with something softer, so the jute works well for that. I'm going to add some foam tape to the back of that mosaic panel. And I'm going to mount that to a white card base. The white card base really allows the, the floral to pop. It doesn't distract from it too much. There we go. And we're going to add a sentiment. This one is from the Stamp Affair Ancient Rome Mini on a banner. And that is all she wrote for that card. So next is stenciling. Here I've got three pieces of acetate, two of which I ran through a Xyron machine just to make them sticky all over. Now I'm going to be using embossing paste here, so um, the acetate's really nice because it's going to be thicker and with the three layers it's going to be nice and sturdy but if you're just going to be doing some sponging or some um, misting you really don't need anything quite this this thick uh, vellum would work really well in that case and it's going to give you a crisper edge too um, because it's going to be a little bit lower profile so here we have our embossing paste, and I uh, added a little bit of aqua mist reinker, just a drop. And I'm just going to blend that in, get it nice and incorporated. I'm going to temporarily adhere my stencil to a piece of white cardstock, and then I'm going to just fill in all those nooks and crannies with a palette knife. You could use an old uh, gift card for this step. I'm not worried too much about the outside edges of my stencil because I know I'm going to be trimming off uh, quite a bit of this, but if you are, you could always mask off with some post-it notes or masking tape. Here we remove the stencil, and you want to clean that right away. It's pretty sturdy, so as long as it gets cleaned up and um, you take care of it, it'll last for quite a while. I eventually did run it under some, some water, but I just wiped it off with a baby wipe here. And then I took my palette knife and removed a little bit of that excess, just so it wasn't so messy. Here I have a matte stack two layers die that I have stamped with my Laurel and Aqua Mist. And then I went back with my Sentiment in Smoky Shadow. The Sentiment and the Laurel are both from the Stamp Affair Ancient Rome mini set. Now I have a white card base that I have um, layered with the Acanthus pattern paper from the Stamp Affair Ancient Rome kit, and I've also adhered on my mosaic layer. I left a little bit of a white edge there because I knew I wanted to do this ribbon sort of wrap around the top edge, and that gives me a nice clean, clean edge to, to adhere to. I've got score tape on the ends of that soft stone ribbon. I like score tape for this because it holds really nice and tight. And then I went around the card base again with some crochet thread. Just wrapped it around a couple of times. I'm going to thread on this aqua mist button here. And I'm 
just going to tie a quick bow, nothing too fancy. There we go. Now I am placing my focal panel there, right nestled under that button. I've added it with foam tape, so I'm just making sure I've got a nice hold there, making sure everything's nice and secure. And then I'm going to fiddle with the ribbon or for, with the twine here for a moment, and just trim off the edges. So there you have it. There are three techniques for adding mosaics to your cards. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm Lizzie Jones for Paper Tray Inc. Have a great day.